Jonathan Mountain TV, Jonathan Buckhouse here, local Summit County snowboarder. All right guys, we did it. We made it through the holiday time. So it's gonna be a little less busy out here. Obviously on the weekdays, it's gonna be nicer than the weekends, but a lot of those tourists, the crowds, the people that came from Texas and stuff, they're gone. They're not here celebrating Christmas anymore or Thanksgiving or any of those other holidays. So we did it. We're over the hump, kind of now the more mellow part of the season, but it's also the best part of the season because we are getting, as you can tell today, a little bit of snow and we're gonna to continue to get snow, obviously, go throughout the rest of the year, but there's less people here, so I'm stoked. I hope you're stoked. With that being said, we do need more snow. A lot of these groomer runs, the more popular runs, are getting some ice spots, so be aware of that. If you stick to the groomers and things, you might be riding and feeling all good and then just catch something real quick, a little snow snake, and hit the ground. Now a major change to Keystone that it used to be like this, but it's now new. You can now ride from School Marm to the terrain park again. That was not possible for the last couple of years. They pull your pass if you tried it. So thankfully this is now open. So if you started on the river run side of the resort, you can make it to the park. Now the terrain parks are starting to fill up a little bit, getting more to their end of season level. That being said, any of the Vale owned terrain parks are gonna look like a shell of themselves. Vale is definitely moving away from their big top of the best in the world terrain parks and they're cutting costs when it comes to terrain parks. They're also trying to get more green terrain for their beginner riders. So a lot of the parks that Vale owned at Brack and Keystone are not gonna look the same at all to years in the past, but they're still pretty fun. Copper on the 29th starts the USASA Halfpipe Rocky Mountain Series event. The qualifiers will be on the 29th and the, the finals will be on the 30th. So for all the little USA rippers out there, send it. But on the 29th, after you watch the Halfpipe event that night, grab your mountain bike and your headlamp and head over to the ninth annual bike race at Copper Mountain. This sounds like an insane event. There's a race for the adults and for the kids. It's $25 for the adults to ride. It's free for the juniors to rip their bikes on the mountain. This race will be held at night, but after the race, there'll be a live DJ food, beer, and prizes, and swag giveaways for everyone. There's a lot more information. You can find that on Copper's website, their event page. Check it out. Now in Brackenridge, January 28th through February 2nd, don't forget, it's the International Snow Sculpture Competition. This is a huge event that Breck does every single year with massive blocks of snow that gets carved into these awesome little sculptures. It's super fun to take your family there and check it out. So make sure if you're in Breckenridge, you're gonna check that out. This is like one of the main things that happens in Breck during the winter. Now that's everything for event-wise, what's happening up here this week in Summit County. But while you're doing these events, or if you're at, done riding for the day and you wanna go get some food or you wanna check out this store, we have always talked about a piece of gear each week. And this piece of gear is super important if when you go into that store or go to that event, that your snowboard or your skis don't go walking away without you and it's a snowboard lock. I highly recommend when you're in the villages at Keystone, Breck, Copper, wherever you are, to lock up your snowboards, lock up your skis. It's like a $20 piece of equipment that you can get that's gonna keep your hundred, if not thousand dollar setup from just disappearing. It actually happens up here more often than you would think, just a snowboard with like a brand new, and that's the thing is you need the new stuff. So you have your nice new snowboard, you're all stoked on, and so is someone else, and so they're like, that's my new snowboard, and they jack it from you. So get yourself a board lock, keep your gear safe and protected, and I promise you, you can throw it in your pocket, throw it in a binding bag, and you're gonna be good to go. It's a nice little safety tool to have on the mountain. With all that being said, Mountain TV, that's all we have for this week. I am Jonathan Buckhouse, and I host a daily YouTube channel. I post from how-to videos to snow conditions to just daily vlogs and resort reviews. It's super awesome. So check out my YouTube channel right here. Just search Jonathan Buckhouse on YouTube and you will find hundreds and hundreds of videos. Because once again, I post daily. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. And with that, Mount TV, thank you so much for shredding with me this week. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys next week with another episode.